Good morning everyone! Today another bike ride around the boroughs of New York City. So far from the beginning of the summer I biked first of all Manhattan, then I went to Brooklyn, then I went to the Bronx and then I went to Staten Island. So I really miss only one borough. Also today I'm gonna be with a very special guest but I'm not gonna reveal it immediately. You're gonna see it in a moment. Happy? <laughs> channel so today we're gonna bike queens right yeah all the way to eastern queens almost to the border finally in my bike vlogs i'm not gonna have to check the map the route all the time because <laughs> kenneth is gonna guide me all the way <laughs> yeah and i'm pretty sure she's gonna like this right uh, route too it's not under any like highways or busy like streets so we should be good he followed some of my videos i can say <laughs> I and by the way what park is this one we have oh a statue of Aristotle is here. Yeah, this is Athens Square Park. Uh, this is primarily known as a Greek neighborhood, Astoria, but over the years it's changed. But this park in particular is very Greek. You can see Aristotle here, you can see Socrates over there. Oh, my favorite Socrates! Yeah, the Greek uh, columns. And yeah. Sophocles here. Sophocles, and then the statue of Athena, which was actually donated by the people of Athens, Greece, to the people of the story. It's crazy. All right, let's All right, go. Let's go. Jackson Heights and we found this little farmer's market right we are checking it out now mask first oh tomatoes, oh, tomatoes. four dollars and fifty cents a pound though yeah they're very expensive, they're expensive but I must say they are the main thing that reminds me of a Italian summer now that I'm stuck here <laughs> get an apple for my trip. Kenneth is watching the bicycle. I must say something. Queens is actually my favorite borough of the five in New York City. Really? Yes, although I don't know it that well, but every time I came here, it always gave me a very good sensation. I don't know how to explain it. It's probably um, the diversity, not only in different countries of the world, you know, different nationalities, but also different ages, different type of people, different jobs that they work. And it feels like it's a city within the city of New York City. I mean, That's a it, good way to put it. It could a be, you know, a city per se, you know? I think it has everything inside mm -hmm. that you need. Yeah, it's interesting because even in the history of New York, they used to be their own separate cities before they all merged together. Mm. Like Brooklyn used to be its own city. Long Island City was a city. It was only until like uh, 1900s where they all got consolidated and put together into just New York City as a whole. I didn't know. Yeah. What are you having? Blueberry crisp. 
city person, country person. <laughs> I mean, look at these kids. <laughs> He's drawing a little house in the <laughs> That was wonderful. Yeah. I smell so many good things running through, Brook, um, through Queens, like food smells. But the food smells in the streets is something that I usually don't experience here in New York City because people don't cook that much so it's more restaurants who cook so it's very nice I, I like it it reminds me of the old continent here <laughs> And LaGuardia Airport's right here. This is called the Flushing Bay Promenade. Not too many people in the city know about this area. Which one is LaGuardia Airport here? Right here, LaGuardia Airport. Everything to the left of us uh -huh. is LaGuardia Airport. This is LaGuardia Airport. Mm -hmm. Good to know. I've never been to LaGuardia Airport before. They made this unisphere specifically for a, a world's fair. You know, I've seen it so many times in pictures on Instagram and on the internet, but I thought it was like as big as a, I don't know, two people. <laughs> oh no, it's huge. I guess I, I got the perspective of those pictures completely wrong. In flushing. This is flushing, yep. I'm very happy because this is only the second time in my life that I come to flushing. Really? I can't believe I came here the very first time I was in New York City because my couch surfing host brought me here to do a food tour. Oh. And I remember it was so amazing. And then I never came back because it's so far away from from Manhattan where I live now. To be honest, I, I like these areas because they are residential, mm -hmm. which I know that people usually, especially those ones who move to New York City for the cultural life, etc., uh, they hate these areas because they are residential. But I think that, you know, every city has a soul. New York City is famous for the nightlife, the cultural life, etc. But I think that in reality, the, the soul of New York City, the core of the city, are these areas here. Because these are the areas where all the essential workers live and have their families. There's the sign. You that really have to bigger. pay attention. 
Yeah. I mean, even if you pay attention, but you don't know the area, it's hard to I know, track. that's why I'm, I'm guiding you. It took me so long to figure this out. Action Kid is saving us. Casino Park. Casino Park. Casino Park, I really like it. Yeah. You know what this also reminds me of? What? Helen Bay Park in the Bronx, where there's like a little short section there. I've been there, true. And this vegetation? Wow. countryside. It really does. Like, <laughs> you never expect this to be in New York City. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh my god. It smells like flowers here. Oh look, yeah. It's probably this one. Oh. It's so fragrant. Oh, look at this path. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's like how, this for a long time. How can we convey this, the smell of flowers through video? <laughs> This is insane! Oh. This is a good detox from the garbage smell and the urine smell of Manhattan. Come out here, you feel like refreshed again. Now this is the start of the Vanderbilt Motor Parkway. This was the first uh, toll highway in the United States, I think. This is the end of the Vanderbilt Parkway, Motor Parkway. Vanderbilt Motor Parkway, yeah. Exactly. So we finished to shoot Action Kids vlog. Now we're gonna stop for a bite because we are hungry. Whole wheat and rye bread with butter and peach jam that I made the other day. Did you like it? Oh, it's excellent. The sourdough is perfect kind of you know, substance you gotta have for that energy. We are observing this um, seemingly pretty old man exercising and he's amazing. I hope he doesn't mind that I film him, but it's really amazing. <coughs> and here we stop in Ali Pond Park, right? Ali Pond Park, yeah. Ali Pond Park.
the fact that he attacked it by a wasp while eating an apple. <laughs> Is just he following you? Interesting, I just discovered because Action Kill told me, of course, <laughs> mm -hmm. that there is no subway here. Like, we are we are far beyond the where the subway net arrives. Oh, yeah. We're right near 237th Street, and the subway stops at 179. So. Which was more or less when we were in Flushing? Uh, yeah, pretty more much. Or less. More or less. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> I'm not going to move. She's back. <laughs> She's on the apple. <laughs> on the apple? And I have to throw it away? Yeah. I'm terrified. You know what? I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> so before we start to go back, I just wanted to, to give some impressions of Queens. Um, first impressions, really. I must say, I've seen so many play fields. I don't know how yeah, you call them. Soccer fields, playing fields, ball fields. That's exactly. Ball fields. And many with actual grass because um, the basketball fields are just concrete usually and they're scattered all around the city. But here there are really, there, because there is more, sp more space, I guess. And um, it's a very family oriented borough, which I like because it's not, I was saying earlier, it's not kid centric, it's not children centric. <laughs> But there are spaces where all families can hang out and you can find people of all age, not only little kids and adults. It's also, you know, teenagers and people in their 20s. All stages of life come here, all diversity, races, because Queens is the most diverse borough in New York City. Exactly. And usually when you when people say that, they mean the nationalities, I guess. Mm -hmm. Diversity in that sense. But I think that the diversity of this borough goes even beyond that. It's really a 360 degrees diversity. <laughs> okay. Pretty much. So now we're starting to go back mm -hmm. very slowly because we're going to probably stop in Flushing to get some Chinese food. Oh yeah. Right? Great Chinese food. I know where to go. I'm so so excited. <laughs> Let's start from the top. GoPro. GoPro. Helmet. Helmet mount. And the little mirror. Take, I take a look. Eyeglass mirror. Uh, the string to it's not a, mess up the pants. I think it's called a pants, pants cuff. Pants cuff. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, the, the bell. The Japanese Crane one. Crane Suzu bell. Beautiful sound. Little two-peak bag. Two -peak bag. And it comes out off. Oh, it slides off. Yeah. Nice. Look how Put stylish. Water bottle. Water bottle Water deal. Bottle, and yep. we cannot bring it now, but he has the. Oh, the I can home. do it just very quickly. No one's gonna know. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> so you put it there, you press it. Yeah. Steep, like 
sidewise. <laughs> so I thought, oh my god, I'm gonna slip down <laughs> and hurt myself badly. <laughs> oh look, again these Dutch looking houses that we found in uh, Brooklyn on Bedford Avenue and also in Staten Island. Interesting area this one. We are on Booth Memorial Avenue. Back again, me an action kid eating at the restaurant. My bad hair because I took my helmet off. Well, wait to see my hair now. <laughs> when I heard they make great soup dumplings here. Action kid is gonna give us a little lesson to understand a Chinese menu. So, this place is called Xiaolong Bao. It means small container bun, and basically it's the soup dumpling, and they make it in a special container where they need to steam it. I yeah. See. So it's this one. The inside is frozen, so that way the soup uh, comes Re out. Releases when it's the steamed. juice. Yeah. Look at this. So delicious. I'm not saying this food. Very fresh, the ingredients, which in my opinion is not always the case in your city, in restaurants. Can you make a comparison between the food that you get here and the food that you get in Chinatown? Do you know there is a difference? Yeah, there is. Over here is kind of like more um, of the different regions of Chinatown that's not like southern China, there's more Shanghainese, you get to see a lot more like Taiwanese food here and Korean food. In Chinatown, you don't really get Korean food. What about the quality? Is there one that you like more than the other? No. no. It depends on the restaurant, I guess. It does, yeah. How's the food so far? Excellent. So I have the soup dumpling in my spoon here. I'm gonna put the vinegar on top of it. Now I'm gonna eat it from the top just to poke a hole in it and let the hot air escape a little bit. That actually wasn't enough of a hole. You know what? It wasn't hot at all. It's it cooled down after a while. Mm. Let's just go for it now. <laughs> oh wow, it's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. It's uh, very very savory. The meat is scrumptious and the dough is a little bit chewy. I kind of prefer it the way I had it in Taiwan better, mm -hmm. but the dough is still not bad. It's, it's, it has a good texture to it. But they're still approved. Mm -hmm. Okay. Still approved. And I put it on here and put the vinegar on. And make Oh my god. 
I'm curious to see what your reaction is gonna be for the pancake because I hope the the microphone picked up the sound. This is so crispy and crunchy. Oh <laughs> all right, let me try it. Definitely the best Chinese pancake I've ever had. I haven't had many though. <laughs> Alright, right, I'm gonna try out their scallion pancake. It looks very crispy just from looking at it. I'm not sure if there are scallions there. Yeah, like four or five different flavors in this you bite into it at first you feel like it's kind of flaky and then all of a sudden you get more of the oils in your mouth and I'm trying to taste the scallion I I know it's there but I kind of feel like the dough overpowers it a little bit but yeah it, it's still good enjoyed it so much it if you so if you come around this area please go to this place it was very very fresh food i was impressed and um tasting very good as well awesome so a little bit of a twist to our plan for today action kid is gonna actually come with me to the east village back to this yeah, village we're right gonna do it and he's gonna I shoot the video let's go I wish I could have a better camera to show you what I can see right now. The sunshine getting out from the clouds and brightening the whole Manhattan skyline, but through the fog. I can't believe it. Action Kid is always prepared for literally everything. <laughs> he just... I left my lights at home because I never thought that we would have made it so far. And he had not only lights but he has two couples of lights so he two couples <laughs> you're incredible <laughs> he had like nine gopro batteries with him <laughs> so i got one
to this village. We're back. <laughs> At least I am back. <laughs> I gotta go back. Now. Yeah, Kenneth is gonna go back home now. Back to Queens. Uh, I must say, congratulations to Kenneth because he was able on a one gear bicycle to go through the Williamsburg Bridge. Yeah, congratulations for that. <laughs> <laughs> but I do it all the time. So. You know, they always say that you are very well trained. Oh. And I guess I had the proof today. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming along with me today. Actually, I came along with you. Well, we both came along. So. Yeah. Thanks for being with us and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.